Today, we have an exciting and informative topic to discuss. Whippets versus Greyhounds. These two dog breeds are often mistaken for one another due to their similar appearances, but they have their own unique characteristics and qualities. In this video, we'll dive deep into the key differences and surprising similarities between these two elegant and swift breeds. So, let's take a look at Whippets versus Greyhound. Key Differences and Similarities Number 7. Introducing to Whippets and Greyhounds First things first, let's get acquainted with these two breeds. Whippets and Greyhounds both belong to the Sight Hound family, known for their incredible speed and agility. Whippets are often referred to as miniature Greyhounds. But there's more to them than just size. The Whippet and Greyhound belong to the Sight Hound family, which is a group of dog breeds bred primarily for their incredible speed and agility. These breeds have been favored historically for their hunting abilities, particularly in chasing and catching prey over vast distances. Greyhounds with their towering presence are often the first image that comes to mind when people think of Sight Hounds. They are magnificent dogs known for their grace, elegance, and of course, astonishing speed. Originally bred for coursing and hunting game, Greyhounds have been celebrated for their ability to reach remarkable speeds of up to 40 to 45 miles per hour in short bursts. Whippets, on the other hand, are sometimes called miniature Greyhounds due to their similar appearance, but they are a distinct breed in their own right. Whippets were developed in the 19th century in England by crossbreeding Greyhounds with smaller terrier breeds to create a more compact version of the Greyhound. Despite their smaller size, Whippets are no less impressive in their speed and agility, and they were used for racing and hunting smaller game like rabbits. So, while the breed shares the same ancestral roots and are bred for speed, it's essential to recognize their individual characteristics, purposes, and traits. Greyhounds are the epitome of elegance and athleticism, while Rippets embody the same grace in a more compact package. Stay with us as we explore the fascinating world of Whippets and Greyhounds, delving into their physical attributes, temperaments, exercise needs, and much more. By the end of this video, you'll have a thorough understanding of what makes each of these breeds truly special. Number 6. Appearance and Size Differences When it comes to appearance, one of the most noticeable differences is their size. Greyhounds are undeniably striking with their tall and slender build. These dogs are known for their long, powerful legs that allow them to cover vast distances with remarkable speed. They typically stand around 28 to 30 inches tall at the shoulder, and their weight can range from 60 to 70 pounds, making them one of the largest breeds in the sight hound category. Their streamlined bodies, deep chest, and narrow heads all contribute to their aerodynamic form, which is ideal for their sprinting capabilities. Whippets, in contrast, poses a more compact yet equally elegant physique. These dogs are developed with an emphasis on maintaining the Greyhound speed in a smaller package. Whippets stand about 18 to 22 inches tall at the shoulder, and they weigh around 20 to 40 pounds. Their appearance retains many of the same characteristics as Greyhounds, including their lean bodies, long legs, and graceful movement. This size reduction, however, doesn't compromise their agility or speed as whippets are still remarkably swift. Number 5. Temperament and Personality Traits Now let's talk about temperament. Greyhounds are often referred to as gentle giants for a good reason. These dogs tend to exhibit a calm, dignified demeanor. They are known for their reserved and often aloof nature, which might lead some people to mistake them for being distant. However, Greyhounds are incredibly loyal and form strong bonds with their families. Their relaxed and mellow personalities make them excellent companions for households that value tranquility. Whippets, while also friendly and affectionate, have a slightly more spirited personality. They are known for their playful and energetic nature, which often shines through in their interactions with both humans and other dogs. Whippets enjoy engaging in games and activities that allow them to burn off energy, making them well-suited for families or individuals who are active and enjoy spending time outdoors. Number 4. Exercise and Energy Levels 
Greyhounds, with their laid-back and calm nature, might surprise you with their moderate exercise needs. Despite their incredible sprinting abilities, Greyhounds are content with relatively short bursts of intense activity, followed by extended periods of lounging. They enjoy leisurely walks and occasional playtime that aren't overly demanding when it comes to exercise. This makes them suitable companions for individuals or families with less active lifestyles. Whippets, on the other hand, have a bit more zest for life. Their energy levels tend to be higher than those of greyhounds. Whippets thrive on regular exercise that engages both their bodies and minds. Activities like playtime, short sprints, and interactive games help keep them mentally stimulated and physically fit. Engaging in these activities is essential to prevent restlessness and ensure they remain well-behaved companions. Both breeds, despite their differences in energy levels, appreciate spending quality time with their human companions. It's worth noting that regular exercise is not only essential for their physical well-being, but also for their mental health. Without adequate mental and physical stimulation, both greyhounds and whippets can become bored and potentially engage in undesirable behaviors. In conclusion, greyhounds tend to require less exercise compared to their energetic whippet counterparts. However, it's crucial to provide both breeds with regular opportunities to stretch their legs, engage in playful activities, and enjoy time outdoors. Understanding their exercise needs will help you create a fulfilling routine that keeps them happy, healthy, and well-balanced. Number three, trainability and intelligence. Now let's discuss trainability and intelligence. Greyhounds with their independent and sometimes aloof temperament can present unique challenges in the training department. They possess a level of intelligence that might surprise you but they also have a strong prey drive due to their history as hunters. This prey drive can lead to them becoming easily distracted or fixated on fast-moving objects. It's important to be patient and use positive reinforcement methods to keep their focus during training sessions. While greyhounds might not be as easy to please as some other breeds, they can still learn a variety of commands and behaviors with consistency and patience. Whippets, on the other hand, often exhibit a more eager-to-please attitude, making them slightly more trainable than greyhounds. They possess a keen intelligence and can quickly pick up on commands and routines. Positive reinforcement techniques such as treats and praise work well with whippets. Keep in mind that whippets, like their larger counterparts, can have moments of independence, so maintaining engagement during training is essential. Number two, grooming and care. Let's touch on grooming and care. Both breeds have short, sleek coats that are relatively easy to maintain. Regular brushing to keep their coat shiny and healthy is sufficient. Due to their thin skin, both breeds can be sensitive to extreme weather conditions, so protective clothing might be needed in colder temperatures. Greyhounds and whippets share a common trait when it comes to grooming. Their short, sleek coats are generally easy to care for. Both breeds shed, but the shedding is typically minimal and manageable. Regular brushing, about once a week, will help remove loose hair, distribute natural oils, and keep their coat shiny and healthy. Since they have sensitive skin, it's essential to use a gentle brush that won't irritate their skin. Due to their thin skin and lack of thick undercoat, both greyhound and whippets can be sensitive to extreme weather conditions. In colder temperatures, they might require extra protection, such as sweaters or coats to keep them warm. Conversely, in hot weather, they can be susceptible to sunburn, so applying pet-safe sunscreen to exposed areas like their noses and ears can be helpful. When it comes to bathing, both breeds are relatively low maintenance. A bath every few months or as needed will suffice. Be sure to use a mild dog shampoo to prevent skin irritation. Remember that frequent bathing can strip their coats of essential oils, leading to dry skin. Number one, conclusion. And there you have it, a comprehensive comparison between whippets and greyhounds. From their appearances and temperaments to their exercise needs and health considerations, these two breeds each have their own unique qualities that make them special companions. If you're considering adopting a sight hound, whether it's a whippet or a greyhound, make sure to do your research and find the best fit for your lifestyle. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.
for watching.